Our governments have limited power by design. Rhetoric? You believe it? Don't you know where these slogans come from? Well-paid researchers. How do you say it? Think tanks? Funded by big businesses. What is that? A think tank? Privately funded propaganda. The Trilateral Commission in the United States, for instance. People know the government has a vaccine. Riots everywhere. The same corporation that makes Ambrosia also manufactures the virus. Quite convenient. They're infecting people on purpose, huh? Executive Order 109090. It lets us take over all modes of transportation. FEMA can do that? If the president declares an emergency, Executive Order 109095, we can take over the media. All of it? Any and all, Executive Order 109097, we can take command of natural resources. RX-84. What's that? One of the plans. You haven't heard of RX-84? Uh-huh. FEMA takes over the highways, police, airports, media, the armed forces. But they still report to the president, right? Not until the end of the emergency. That's for efficiency. Also, they have plans on the books to arrest five million Americans the day the emergency is declared. Terrorists? Immigrants, mostly. But also anyone the FBI has been watching. I have seen it since I was a girl. The plotting and scheming of corporations to make Europe into one big country with no separate languages, cultures, or tastes. It's more than Europe they plan to unify. Some people just don't understand the dangers of indiscriminate surveillance. I remind you that in the case of a national emergency, FEMA has a list of six million Americans who will be transported to detention centers. Your tabloids call it RX-84. Yeah, including the President, Congress, and the Supreme Court. In my position, I find it very easy to add names to that list. The whole project of world government, going back to the League of Nations, has been funded and manipulated mainly by wealthy bankers. Remember that the UN itself was built on land donated by John D. Rockefeller. The wealthy have always been the ones to profit from one world government. The United Nations secret goal... Well, this is David Rockefeller's description from a half a century ago. The supranational sovereignty of an intellectual elite and world bankers. 